video will be to insert a sketch feature. The sketch feature will be used to draw the outline of the elevation of our travel mug. So when you look at the travel mug, the curve, you'll be using um, sketch picture to get that. So first of all, well, I was going to click front pane. You go up here to command. I'm going to doubt it will be on your toolbar. Go up here, click down, go to command, then type in sketch picture. Okay, so here I have an example. In this picture, I when I when I took it, I'll open it. When I took it, I upped the brightness and up the sharpness, so I have a clear outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this as close as I can to learn the X axis up there, like this. Okay, so just hitting both. It's going to be a small bit of a perspective view because the way the camera is in the iPhones. Right. So let's start with that. We'll drag this down to our origin and we'll extend this across to the far side and it'll give us a measurement when you let go and using calipers I'll get a measurement of Measure 92. The diameter is 92 of the base from here to here in real life. So on this, we put the diameter is 92. So next, just press tick. Then we will go to make a baseline. You can make that construction line if you want first. I actually might do that. So construct. Bear with me. And a sketch. Make that line a construction line. Make it ninety two in length. Then we can go to center point. Go straight up through. So now we can bring a line straight across. Your base is just following it now. So this doesn't matter as of yet. We're going to get the overall height now. So the overall height of this object is 109.5. So next we're going to get is here to here. Should be close enough. So. 109.5 it's going to come down a bit but we still have the curve so what I really here for now is start here and you just draw your spline down along you can zoom in more if you want so for this I'm going to draw multiple points Yeah, they can be moved after, so I'll fix them out. And now we're going to go with the long curve again. So the idea is to get this curve as smooth as possible. We'll join that back down then. Okay, so once that's roughly drawn, you can go back and fix your points. Once you have them fixed in close, you can zoom out to smooth the curve more. So this is obviously going to come more here like that. Then we will trim entities, trim the closest, get rid of that. So we have the overall height. We have the guide curve and we have the overall width. So now we're going to join it up, join this to our center, 
this to here. And we'll go revolve. We'll revolve about this line. Okay. And that's roughly, sorry, that is the exact outline of the candle holders then. Okay. So obviously you're going to take more accurate pictures than this. This is just an example to show. All right.